Live from Springcast Cinemation's headquarters in Calgary, Alberta, Cinemation Studios Home Entertainment presents Microsoft Sam Makes a Red Out of Briarcon. Starring Microsoft Sam, Adult Male Number 3 as SpongeBob SquarePants, and Dennis McMahon from the WWE. This is Microsoft Sam and today I will make a rant about Viacom. When I uploaded a Microsoft Sam Gets Grounded video on YouTube, I wanted to use the SpongeBob SquarePants theme song in the credits. But unfortunately the video was taken down due to a copyright complaint from both Nickelodeon and Viacom and it pissed me the fuck off. In order to use the SpongeBob SquarePants theme song, commercial or non-commercial, you need to ask for prior consent. I think this is totally retarded. What do you think about it? Does anybody have any ideas why they would do such a thing like this? If you know why, please feel free to comment on this video. Thanks. Viacom is being idiots. Please subscribe. Sometimes Viacom can be a pain in the ass if you use music such as the SpongeBob SquarePants theme song. I'm getting really mad at Viacom for taking down my video and giving me a copyright strike in my fucking YouTube account because YouTube does not like the video. Viacom Incorporated is an American multinational media conglomerate with interests primarily in film and television, has headquarters in New York City, and owns properties like Paramount Pictures, BAT Networks, Viacom Media Networks, and more. The current incarnation of the company was formed in January 2006, when the old Viacom was split into two new companies, one being CBS Corporation, and two being the new Viacom. In February 2007, Viacom sent upwards of 100,000 digital millennium copyright act takedown notices to the video's sharing site YouTube. Of the 100,000 notices, approximately 60 to 70 non-infringing videos were removed under the auspices of copyright infringement. In March 14, 2007, Viacom filed a US $1 billion legal claim, Viacom International Incorporated v. YouTube, Incorporated against Google and YouTube alleging massive copyright infringement, alleging that users frequently uploaded copyrighted material to YouTube, enough to cause a hit in revenue for Viacom and a gain in advertisement revenue for YouTube. The complaint contended that almost 160,000 unauthorized clips of Viacom's programming were made available on YouTube and that these clips had collectively been viewed more than 1.5 billion times. In July 2008, the case generated controversy when District Judge Lewis Stanton ruled that YouTube was required to hand over data detailing the viewing habits of every user who had ever watched videos on the site. Judge Stanton rejected Viacom's request for YouTube to hand over the source code of its search engine system, saying that the code was a trade secret. Google and Viacom later agreed to allow Google to anonymize all the data before handing it over to Viacom. In June 23, 2010, Judge Stanton ruled in Google's favor in a motion for summary judgment, holding that Google was protected by provisions of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, notwithstanding evidence of intentional copyright infringement. Viacom announced its intention to appeal the ruling. In April 5, 2012, the ruling was overturned by the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit. Writing for a two-judge panel, because Judge Roger Minor had died, while the trial was pending, of the Second Circuit, Judge Jose Cabrains concluded that a reasonable jury could find that YouTube had actual knowledge or awareness of specific infringing activity on its website. Eric Goldman, a professor at the Santa Clara University School of Law, expressed concern that the ruling would negatively affect startups by making them more hair trigger in taking down news or content, for fear that failure to do so will be held against them by content providers. Microsoft Sam, get over here in my office right now. What now, SpongeBob? What the fuck do you want? Yeah!